Hello everybody, my name is Joshua and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Coffee, Cats and King where we discuss books both new and old. I will share with you pictures of my cats, will make you wish they were your cats and I will drink enough coffee for me and everybody watching. So, as promised in my previous video, I am back today with a tag. It's a tag that you guys have seen a lot of recently. The Your Answer Can't Be Books tag. So, this is much more about me aside from the books than anything else, uh, which means that you will either not give a crap and move on to the next one, which is again going to be about books, or you'll be interested to learn a couple of things about me that you didn't know before. Why you would want that, I don't know, but uh, here it is. So, <clears throat> question one, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? I asked my wife about this specifically, so she told me that I own too many pairs of socks. You tell me. What can I say? I like a good clean pair of socks, and if my feet get gross or wet at any point during the day, then I have to change socks. It's just something about me. Question two, what is something you do for fun that's not reading a book? I guess it's kind of cheating in a way, but if I'm not reading, I am writing. I want to be an author. Uh, I want to write for a living. I work on that very often, and not just because I want to do it for a living, but because it is something I get so much enjoyment out of. I have shared a few stories with you guys, and uh, you will see more of those in the future. But nothing too exciting there. That's the big, big reveal. If I'm not reading, I'm writing. Question three. What is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? So my wife's nightstand is packed with stuff. Uh, there's really only three things on my nightstand ever. It's my glasses, uh, my cat, and the only other thing it's not special, but it is very important. I keep a lot of chapstick. I always have chapstick with me. It's like a survival tool, I guess, you know? Uh, what other uses other than keeping your lips moist? Uh, I don't know, maybe you're around dead bodies or something and you need to rub some under your nose to keep the smell out. So think about it, people. Chapstick is important for other reasons than uh, kissable lips. Number four. What's something you buy at a bookstore other than books? Well, for me, coffee mugs. Specifically, this coffee mug was the last one I purchased at Barnes & Noble. Five. What's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? So my sister uh, likes to surprise me sometimes with uh, strange figures and stuffed animals. Uh, so two of my favorites that she's given me are this purple beaver and this guy here. I don't even know what he's supposed to be but his face kind of looks like Havoc when he's sleepy and the interesting part about this thing, the teeth. Uh, are way too realistic looking on this thing. So I don't know where she got it. I don't know what it's supposed to be But I've spent the last couple of years being nice to this thing Just in case it comes to life sometime during the night and decides to use those teeth on me Hopefully a little beaver here will protect me. Number six, what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? I went through all the channels that I subscribe to and there are very few that are not book related uh, I'm gonna say James Fetcho you guys know him on here, uh, awesome guy, always fun to talk to in the comments, and uh, has come up with some really great riffs on those guitars of his. Uh, Blackbriar Music, interesting style, uh, really cool group, they are unsigned, but uh, interesting, unique stuff if you like the kind of gothic feel. Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me, I guess, but I am subscribed to Jewel because... That woman is amazing. I love her music. Um, I love her poetry. 
I just love her as a person. She's freaking awesome. So laugh at me if you want, but uh, Jewel is cool. And the only other one that I'll talk about, I guess, that is not music related is Celia Condit. So if you guys have not watched her stuff before, she does some really disturbing videos. Uh, just very strange stuff, very out there, and really gets under your skin, gives you the creepy crawlies. So check it out if you're interested in that sort of thing. And number seven, tag five booktubers you want to learn more about. Okay, first is a blurb from the Serb, Miss Anna. She is a really cool individual, uh, very intelligent, and um, I don't see enough content from her to begin with. She's a busy, busy lady, but uh, I'd love to know a little more about her. Uh, I'm also going to tag Alex's Library. Again, another really cool girl. Um, I love the editing she does on her videos. She's very funny. And uh, she hasn't been around as much. Again, just a lot of stuff going on, I think, personally. But we'd love to get to know you a little more and bring you more into the fold, uh, more into the book to community. So, Alex, please, do this tag you see this. Mr. Cameron Cheney. Uh, again, you guys all know him. You all love him. But uh, I kind of want to see his answers to this because I feel like they would be really interesting. Mr. James Fetcho. I know you're not a booktuber, dude, but uh, you're super cool, and the conversations we've had, um, I feel like you fit way more into your years of life than most people ever can, so I'm just really curious about you, to be honest. And then the final one, Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats. Um, you know, I remember finding your channel and thinking, wow, how have I not watched your videos before? You read awesome books. You have all these great cats. You're humorous and intelligent and just a fun gal to watch. So, I'd love to know a little more about you as well. Uh, so there you go. Tagged you all. Hopefully, at least one or two of you will do it. Uh, this was a quick one for me, but maybe you've learned a few interesting facts. I don't know. Uh, maybe you'll skip it all together and go on to the books, which is perfectly acceptable. I hope a few of you people that I tagged will do this because I really would like to get to know you a little more, know a little more about you. Um, don't worry, this is nothing like uh, what happened with me and Juan. Okay, everybody's safe. We're all good, relaxed. Remember, my wife, she's, uh, she's beautiful and she helps to calm me, so we're good, people. But that is it. Like I said, my next video will be back to bookish related content. I have a review of a very special book. Very excited to do this review, so I hope you'll join me for that soon. Um, I hope you guys have a great day today and tomorrow. Uh, stay safe. We are quickly moving through September and into one of the most exciting times of the year for us all. So... Have a great day, guys. Have a great week. Stay safe. Drink some awesome coffee. Cheers.